Okay, so guys, as I was saying about this, uh, about this Fibonacci stuff, you know, this is what we're gonna do about it. This is what we're gonna do about it. Since we got everything we we want, we got our big profit, we got our, you know, season low that was broken yes and then we got the reversal zone which is telling us we're going down and that is everything we need to know now what about the retracement that we're gonna wait for because we have to wait for retracement this type of market you don't even try to jump in like because you know it's going down okay it has given us a proof it's going down yes this is why we plot our Fibonacci. See, from the lowest to the highest zone. Then we are waiting for what? We are waiting for either either 50 or 61. Okay. We are waiting for this is 61. This red line here is 61. The season low broken is 61. Now we're waiting for either 50 or 61. Let me put one box in here. sorry sorry guys let me put one box in there i see how this is the stop put one more box in here on the 50 level yes this is 50 level which we're gonna make it like well let me make it a yellow line so by the time the market is pulling back to that zone okay it's gonna be called the yellow zone by the time this price is pulling back to the zone yes then this is this is when we get in so if i'm gonna remove that fibonacci now let me remove it this is what we get this is what we get right now and if there's anything i have to do with a trend line analysis this is what I'm going to do. Something that looks like this. Or maybe something that has to that just got to look like this. Okay? I don't want you guys to be looking at those lines drawn, but if you are the type that knows how to do trend line, then I think it's okay for you. But if you are the type who who doesn't know much about drawing trend lines then you can delete it and you can have something like this after your analysis because if you are just a structure trader you know the structure is based on trend line too this is a structure here a season structure is broken this is a structure here with this trend line now we're waiting for a pullback into the structure okay it pull back into this structure here then we're gonna find the entry in in here let me pull one entry trigger line it's okay we're gonna find one entry in here which the entry is gonna be like this is the color of the entry this is entry trigger line okay by the time the price is getting here this is your entry and at that point, we're coming back down to this level of 113.205. That is where we're going. Let me delete this. This is the analysis of the USDJPY. So for you that doesn't know how to draw trend lines, you can watch it properly. If you want a tool that draws the trend line for you automatically, then I believe you have to check out the forex trendy the link is under the video you check it out so i'm off my time time is off so see you guys again